Carry on, boys. Fate changed. The time didn't. None of the t the time didn't change. Purely because one, it's not that long anyway. It's still about f three and a half, four minutes until she gets shot. But now we can actually do something about it. So go back and click the thought bubble. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. So, we make our way right up into... Now, we actually, in, in a way, we do have to kind of, um, almost race Cabanella up the stairs because if he, once his bike, um, once he hops on his, um, cycle, um, we lose the chance to get up there, so... There we go. Cavanella's bike is right there. Oh, piddle. Yeah, you can't stay there too long either, so... Because it's going to take too long for me to get back up and I'm going to miss my opportunity, we'll go back to the fate change. Right, we've already seen that, so we can ignore that now. Right, close that up. So we have to do this, but then we have to get up onto this lamp. Now we can't actually do anything because look, there we go. Well, we made it. Now time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere preparing to take his shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make, I'm going to make good and sh sure he understands what happens to people who point guns at others. There is a gleam in her eyes that's absolutely blinding. But yeah, we can't do anything at the moment because the nearest cores are just way too far away. Sissel really doesn't have a very good reach. So we have to wait till the right moment. And Cabanella is there. He gets on his bike. I have to do it at the right moment. Not quite. There we go. Perfect. And there he is, Tango. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month now for sure. There he is, the horrible hitman. I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. So, we go up to here. Open the door. Get into the searchlight and turn it on. And that will make him retreat. There, we put a stop to that shot at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really going to stop him. If you want to rough him up a bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. So, yes. That did buy us a little bit of time.
Right, now we have to wait for the police officer to come back. Alright, we'll get into his nightstick. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. If head, division head is my ambition for this year, next year my model will be. If I want to be director, I have to be careful of even a little, least the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumours about him. Now, be quickly before... He now, usually I just turn the light on, but... Hey, did you turn that flashing red light on? A oh, flashing light on. No. What? It wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. I'll just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste the electricity. Have things gotten that tight? It's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do that much at least, especially on a dark night like tonight. Now, because of this, there are three searchlights. There's one there, there's one where we turned on before, and there's one and there's one over this way that we used to get up here in the first place. Only two of them can stay on at any one time. Now, if I just go ahead and turn this one on, there is a problem with that. Um, it could end up the the one that goes out automatically could be the first one again. So in order to avoid that, I usually do with some I do usually do things a little differently. So we'll go into this this night this nightstick. Right. I'll turn off this one. Wait until he goes back. Right. This way it guarantees that the, a light won't go out because this one's already out. So we go up to here and turn the searchlight on. And just want to bring that other officer back so I can get into the final position. Hey, I told you to lay off that thing, and I told you it wasn't me. Uh oh, I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know, what? Hey, shut up, you're creeping me out. But you know, as well as I do, the only explanation for mischief like this is Inspector Cabanella. So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost, huh? But Inspector Cabanella is a really very nice person. Am I in the nightstick? Good. Right. So now, get into the tailgate. Because Tango will now appear there. This is quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, sis, we'll get him. Hold up, when did I become her assistant? <laughs> so, we'll trick this. Get up onto here. And just like we did with... The wrecking ball, lower. Squish! Again. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Fate averted. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you c could... Like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. 
Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing that little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved even if you die again tonight. I can save you my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will I, we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. I was kidding. <laughs> well, I guess we better be getting back to the presents. Yeah. <laughs> I love how she took that seriously. <laughs> Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. So, we go down here. And look, this lovely umbrella will actually take us right back down to here. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't even got any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the Super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the Super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. So, trick. We go back up to the Super's office. I love how they just they just shorten it to super. It's the superintendent's office, but they shorten it to super just to save time. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her fate her changed fate, her story was to change too. Maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that be case be connected to me in any way? Once again, we're saving, and again, that was probably, um, I was somewhat longer because we had to save somebody's life. I was only ten minutes longer, though. It's still short. It's still a bit shorter. Anyway, not that it matters. Next time, we will be journeying to the Super's office to try and find Lynn. So, until next time... Farewell, my friends, and I will see you soon.